Some functions are a little bit too complicated to be written out in one line, and we need several lines in order to describe the behavior of the function depending on different values for the input x. So these are called piecewise functions, and here's an example of one. This is piecewise notation. This is all one function here. This rule tells us how to evaluate the function depending on what we input for x. This is saying if x is less than 2, we're supposed to use the first line. We're supposed to use the rule from the first line to evaluate f of x. So that means if we're plugging in an x that's less than 2, we'll evaluate the fun function by plugging that x into the expression x plus 1. On the other hand, if x is greater than 2, we don't use that line. If it's 2 or a little bit more, we use the second line. But if it's more than 3, we don't use this line. Uh, we don't use the second line, we use the third line. So let's look at examples of evaluating this function. Suppose I want f of 0. So I'm plugging a 0 into this function. Well, 0 is less than 2, so I'm supposed to use the first line. So I'm supposed to evaluate 0 plus 1, and that gives me 1. Okay, now let's evaluate f of 2. Well, 2 is not less than 2. Actually, we're supposed to use the second line because this is what you use if x is greater than or equal to 2. Notice that says greater than or equal. Since we're plugging in something that's equal to 2, this is the line we use. And so we're supposed to evaluate it using the expression x cubed. Plug a 2 in for x. 2 cubed is 8. One more. Let's evaluate f of 4. So 4 is greater than 3. Therefore, we're supposed to use the rule from the third line of this function to evaluate f of 4. But notice that this line is constant. So no matter what number I plug in for x, if it's anything greater than 3, the output is always going to be 5. OK, there's one last thing I'd like to point out about this example, which is we can plug almost any number we want into this formula for f of x. If I wanted to plug in negative 100, I can do that using the first line. If I want to plug in 2.7, I can do that with the second line. And if I want to plug in 1,000, I can do that in the third line. There's actually only one number I cannot plug into this function. It's the number 3. Notice that I'm not allowed to plug a 3 into the second line because I can only plug in values of x that are less than 3 when I'm using that rule. And I can't plug it into the third line because I can only plug in values of x that are greater than 3 when I use that rule. So this function f of x is defined for all numbers x except the number 3.